and you should understand multiplication with a 0 and a 1. Any number multiplied by 1 is simply that same number. So 5 times 1 is equal to 5. 1,290 times 1 is equal to 1,290. And this is true for any number. Any number multiplied by 1 is simply that number. We can state that fact using a variable. I can say that a times 1 is equal to a for any number a. And this is an important idea, not just that a times 1 equals a, but that we, that we can take an idea, any number multiplied by 1 is that same number, and we can express that in general terms using a variable. We'll do that over and over again. Take an idea and state it mathematically, and we use variables to do that. In this case, we say that a times 1 is equal to a for any number a. a here could be any number, so any number multiplied by 1 is simply equal to that number. Any number multiplied by 0 is 0, and that's true for any number, so 12 times 0 is 0. This huge number here, 187 trillion, 295 billion, 772 million, 408 thousand, 296. The point is it doesn't matter what that number is and it doesn't matter that it's huge. If we multiply it by zero, we end up with zero. Six times zero times 14 is equal to zero. We've got multiple factors here. As long as one of them is zero, we end up with zero. Same thing here, four times 17 times eight times zero is zero. Uh, these last two illustrate a point. If I have numbers that I'm multiplying together, I don't have to multiply them. I don't have to do the work if one of the factors is zero. I don't need to do, I don't have to go left to right here and do four times 17 and get a number for that and then multiply that times eight and get a number for that because whatever this comes out to be, it's going to end up uh, still giving me an answer for zero because we've multiplied by zero. Same thing down here. I see 2,834 times 68,724. And um, I don't have to multiply those together. That'd be a lot of work, but I can see that zero is a factor. And as long as one of the factors is zero, the answer is zero. The idea that any number multiplied by zero is zero could be stated with a variable. I can say a times zero equals zero. for any number a. I'm going to write that down here where there's a little more room. a times 0 is equal to 0 for any number a. And once again, we've taken this idea that any number multiplied by 0 is 0, and we've written it mathematically.